Hi, my name is Abdurrahman Wasami. I created this video kinda to shed light on a few topics that are shied away from and controversial in this community. I'm with an organization called Generation Hope. My goal in this video is to um, get to show a perspective here. Uh, I am gonna be pretty vulnerable in hopes to kind of soften the topics that are at hand that are so hard to speak about. And uh, it's gonna be a video of me overdosing for my first time. And I've overdosed uh, much many more times after that, eight times after that, to be honest. And um, I feel like, you know, showing this will help people understand that this is a monstrous disease and that it's destroyed homes, families, and lives. So I hope that my vulnerability can help strengthen others. And um, if you have any problem with this, then, you know, I hope that you don't, you know, take this any wrong way. Thank you. My guilt is a survivor. Why am I a survivor? What did I do to deserve this? As time goes by, he gets deeper. How is it that the reaper could take him, but with me miss? But when I realized the reason that my survival had meaning, it was then I felt life's joyful bliss. But with who can I share this feeling when my heart is broken beyond healing? For as time goes on, the longer goes the list. And with it, Close my bliss. I really can't explain it. This pain seems to never finish. Yes, I am pained that you died, but it hurts more that I didn't. And the nightmares are just the beginning. The pain isn't realistic. I'm confused what blew this fuse in this dream that is so vivid. I hate that you're gone, but why am I alive? I hate that I become more alone as time goes by. It's like I'm in my deathbed just waiting to die because the confusion of this reality it's why, I question why. Why am I alive? Why I didn't die? Why did he die? Why is it that someone as worthless as me survived? And that is survivor's guilt. 